Hey, welcome back. So this time we will be looking at the basics of generalized functions. There are actually several ways to generalize a classical function that we know in order to include the Dirac delta function that we have seen in the previous video. Schwartz who called his generalized functions as distributions. If you remember from the previous video I said that distributions maps functions to numbers. If I am precise then these functions are called test functions and the numbers we consider are complex numbers. So formally distributions are functionals which assigns every test functions to a particular complex number. Now the number that we assign to these test functions will be denoted by these weird notations. Now we need some preliminaries to give a precise definition of distributions. We start with test functions. These are some weird objects, but we don't have to care much about them since they are just for theoretical purpose. A test function is a smooth function with bounded support. There are two terms to understand in this definition. So, smooth simply means infinitely differentiable function, like the exponential function. The second one is, the support of a function, f, simply means, the closure of the set of those points where the function is non-zero. A function with bounded support means there exists a finite interval such that the support of the function is a subset of that interval. In many standard textbooks you will find the notation d, or, cc infinity, which represents the space of test functions. Well what does space mean here? We will discuss it later. Now an example of test function, phi, with bounded support is given here, where the function is zero outside the interval a, b. Verify yourself that phi is infinitely differentiable, and support of phi is a subset of the compact set AB. A linear functional is a map from the space of test functions to the complex numbers, satisfying the given condition. Here, phi and xi are test functions, and alpha and beta are any complex numbers. An important example of linear functional is where the test function phi is mapped to the number phi of zero. Remember that, phi of zero is a complex number and phi is a test function. Our last piece for the definition of distribution is, the notion of convergence in D. We say that the sequence of test functions phi n converges to phi in D if the following three conditions hold. The first condition says that there must exist a compact set, such that the support of all the test functions are a subset of it. The last two conditions simply states that, all the sequence of test functions and its derivatives, must converge uniformly in D. So finally we are now ready to give the definition of distribution. Now a functional is continuous, if f of phi n converges to f of phi, whenever a sequence of test functions phi n, converges to some phi. So finally, a continuous linear functional on the space of test functions, is called a distribution or generalized function. So as an example, we define delta of phi as phi of zero. We have seen already that this is a linear functional, for continuity, we consider a sequence of test functions converging to phi, then from the uniform convergence of phi n, we can show that delta of phi n, also converges to delta of phi. Hence, Dirac delta function defined in such a way makes it a distribution. Check, which of the following maps defines a distribution, where phi comes from the space of test functions. To give a solid mathematical foundation to Dirac delta function we have seen, how generalized functions was developed, due to Schwartz. Now, we can make two classes of distribution. One is regular and another, singular, we will define it, in our next few videos. Thanks for watching.